Hey, Chris, how are you, crazy purple lady? Uh, I'm here to show you how to make cigarettes, but uh, I'm here to tell you one other thing. Adam's gone. Tony, Mon Tony, Tony Manzoni is taking over the show. Adam couldn't pay the rent. So Tony Manzoni is going to show you tonight how to make cigarettes. Who do we got? The arms. We got crazy purple lady, Chris Trapp. So I tell jokes better than Adam. So like I said, he couldn't pay the rent. We're going to leave it at that. And Adam's gone. Tony Manzoni's here. And he's going to show you how to make a cigarettes. And you want to hear a joke? I tell him better than Adam. Guy robs the house. Why'd he hop in the shower before he left the house? Because he wanted to make a clean getaway. There's this poodle. He went out and bought a watch. You know why he bought a watch? Because he wanted to be a watchdog. I tell these jokes so much better than Adam. He's peace out. It's not his channel anymore. It's Tony Ronzelli's channel. So how are we doing with these cigarettes? I basically bought this for, 20, for $12. I got another one in the box brand new. I've never opened it. $12 for this. This is a pack of 240 empty cigarette sleeves for $4. And we got a bag of, ooh, who just came in? I didn't see that. It's actually called The Good Stuff. So for the purpose for it not to get too dry, and this is going to be a fast live anyways, we're taking a little bit out. Whoever's interested in seeing how to make cigarettes, we're going to find out how to make them for probably about 40 cents a pack right now, okay? Tony Ronzoni is going to show you how to make these cigarettes for 45 cents a pack. But Tony Ronzoni is realizing with these glasses on, he can't see the tobacco too well. He should have checked before the show started. So we take a little peek like this so we can see this tobacco. Basically, put it in here. It's real quick. Real quick and easy, guys. Real quick and easy. You know why it's real quick and easy? Because Tony Ronzoni says it's quick and easy. This is a Tampa. You take your Tampa, which comes in this pack. $12.95. This is the whole get up, get up right here. You tamper it in here. One, two, three, four, five of those. You grab a sleeve. You get a little top like that. Whoop. We need the glasses over here. You push it on there. And give a slide. Be sure to use your thumb, not this finger. For a year, this finger was hurting because I was using the wrong finger. And just pull it out like that, and your cigarette is made. You buy a fake pack of cigarettes over here. For $2.50, this cost me. And that's what you got right there. And that's how you make your own cigarettes for about 40 cents a pack. <laughs> Comes out to maybe uh, $5 a con. That was unheard of. You're talking about the $65 a cotton. Let me tamper it down. This is the tamper. Let me take another cartridge out. Sometimes you give it a little twist to slide it on there. And what you want to make sure, you want to make sure you pack the front because you get air on the top and you ruin your cigarette. Make sure you get plenty in the front there. You just flip it closed and use the thumb, not that finger. Pop it open, and there's another cigarette made, just like that. Brian Conversa, thanks for coming by. I'm missing you already, cuz. And we make the cigarettes just like this, just a little bit. After a while, you get the feel for it. You'll know how much you need. Crazy purple later. I want to roll cigs. Put this on to listen while I rolled. <laughs> I, I, well, I happen to go to uh, to a store to buy this stuff. But if you go and order this stuff, it's even cheaper. Like I said, I pay twenty dollars for this bag, four dollars for the cartridges, two hundred and fifty cartridges, empty cartridges. But you can get this bag. I'm using the red gambler roller. Oh, you roll? I'm, I'm crazy purple lady. You roll your own too? Whoa. If I got that right, I'm looking at my cigarette thing. I'm, look, I'm not looking at the chat as much. Let me look at this one here. I got a chat one over here. Oh, wow. It's a little delayed. I pay $4 for the tube. $4 for the tube. Well, I've got 250 
in here. And it was $4 for, for all those, if you can see them. If you can see them correctly. I don't want to make them come out of the box. Very bright, wow. Eddie Machete, what are you up to now? You bu Yo, you're talking to Tony Ronzoni now, Eddie Machete, so take it easy, all right? He ain't got a kind soul like Adam, you know? He ain't silly like Adam. I smacked Adam so, so hard to get him off the show. He got arrested for speeding. I got 200 tubes. 200 tubes. There's a different brand they tried to sell me for 200 tubes. But I get, uh, what is it? Z-E-N. Z-E-N. Oh. Crickets here. What's up, bro? I'm making cigarettes. I'm showing people. Well, I kicked Adam out since he just showed up. And uh, I'm, 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 I'm Tony Ranzoni. I'm running the show now. Adam couldn't pay the rent. So I'm taking over. I tell jokes better than him anyways. My apologies. My apologies. Now go get your... Oh, my goodness. That was Eddie Machete. Who knows what he said. Slimmy Cricket. Okay. <laughs> we see how long before uh, Adam tries to make a comeback over here. I can't see the tobacco with the glasses on. That's killing uh, Tony Ranzoni. Slim. And it's that simple. One, two, three, it's done. So like I said, I wanted to make this a fast live over here, unless anybody's got anything else to say, you know. And uh, my cousin Brian left yesterday. I'm also, I'm very lonely over here. All I got is the dogs with me. So I wanted some company. Chris Trock, always good to see you, Phil. Because... And like I said, I was going to show how to make these cigarettes. And sometimes you don't push them on. You give it a little roll. After a few months, you get the feel for it. You won't, you'll, you'll know how much to put in there. Every cigarette will come out like it's in a factory. Perfect. And they're pennies to make. And I just made four while I'm talking. And I ain't really rushing. And I just made four just like that. I do a pack in about 10 minutes. About 20 cigarettes. Then do! In the house. Didn't do. You need to say hello to Tony Ranzoni. Tony Ranzoni took over the show over here. He kicked Adam out. Adam couldn't pay the rent. I smacked him so hard he got arrested for speeding. So what do we got here? This is called a tamper. This is a tamper. You tamper the tobacco down with this. You tamp it down. And every time you make it perfect after about three months. Truck is saying hello to Tindu. If Adam behaves himself, maybe we let him come back. Adam couldn't tell a decent joke to save his life anyways. You got Tony Ranzoni here now running the show. And he knows how to make these cigarettes. Real good. Look at that. There's five made. Five made. Just like that. And I'm just shooting the breeze with you guys. Peace out, Eddie. Adam's telling... Oh, Eddie, must have, Eddie Machete must have said something wrong for uh, Arms to tell him to peace out. Don't worry. Everybody's good. Hey, Adam. It's very funny. That was Chris Trock. Tony, Tony M. That's right. It's Tony M. He's, in, he's the third person in the house. Tony Ranzoni is in the house. And he took over the show. Let's see if Tony can do these with the glasses on. If Tony can do these with the glasses on, it's like doing it blind. That means a blind man can make tobaccos, make cigarettes. Paul, good to see you. Cricket is saying. Maureen is in the house. He's saying hello to Adam. Adam will be back tomorrow, uh, Maureen. Tony Ranzoni's here right now. He took the show over. Adam wasn't doing a good job. Tony Ranzoni knows how to make these cigarettes. Adam can't quite do it. He can't quite get it down yet, so he asked me to do it for him. You know, Maureen, always nice to see you. And there it is. The only thing you want to make sure is when you do it, let me do one so I can show, for example, when you do it, just a little heads up in case you actually are crazy enough to go out and buy this stuff. 
Then do arms distance to do a saying hello to. If you are crazy enough to go out and buy this shit, if you're a smoker, I don't know why you wouldn't. What you want to make sure is that there's a lot of tobacco in the front over here. Because it's very easy to make the mistake of leaving that empty and you'll ruin your whole cigarette. So, you make sure, oh, I'm doing this blind with these dark glasses. Man, cop pulls up to me now. He'll, he'll arrest me. He'll give me a ticket for wearing tinted for my tinted glasses over here. See, you can't see. I'm blind. I'm doing this blind. Yeah, I can't see. You get that little tap. I've got into the habit of giving it a little blow to get all that tobacco out at the beginning. And sometimes if you can't push it on, you give it a little twist. See what I'm doing here? A little twist instead. I'm twisting it on instead of pushing it on. Sometimes you need to do that. Pulls in the house. That's it. You probably get started now. And just like that, I'm up to six or seven. And I am, I'm bullshit. And, and Tony Ronzoni's bullshitting like hell. And he's getting it done like this. You know why? Because Tony Ronzoni's, uh, you know, he's one of those special guys. He's one of those guys just come out, you know. He, he's the guy that sits on the side. And he lets the manager, the guy that thinks he's the manager, he lets that guy do his job until you really need a manager. And then I come about. I think I was out of frame there. <laughs> One of you guys just texted me on there. I said, moving the frame. And just like that. One more and I got a half a pack done. One more and we got a half a pack done. Mike F., how you doing? And, let, you know, to get serious for a moment, see how I'm packing it when it's... It's not that much on here. You'd be surprised how little tobacco you need for one cigarette. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pan tamps down like that. I happen to get to the habit of giving it a little blow instead of a tap. You can give it a tap to get that tobacco out the top. And then you just either push the cigarette on. If it's not pushing on, you give it a little twist. Just like that. It's so simple. Give it a close and use the thumb. And a perfect cigarette. Perfect smoke. Perfect smoke, it's perfect. Look, just like that. And there's 10, that one was a magic one, who knew? I'm gonna do the 10, I'm gonna get rid of this pile of uh, tobacco over here, just so I can stay on for at least 15 minutes. You know, I came live, I got some people coming and I'm gonna cut out on everybody already. You know, maybe Adam did that, but Tony runs only, you know. He's got a party going on. He's not going to walk out on it. Right, Paul? Hey. We got a party going. We're going to stay. Adam, he may take it a little hard in the corner over there. You know, shitting his pants. Shaking in his shoes. He's shaking in his shoes all the time because he knows I'm on the other side. You know, before, you know, he had, he had, he had his cousin Brian here. You know, I, I, you know. I had to keep my distance, you know, the two of them. Now, he's by himself. Media, what's up? For a second, I thought this was Truck. <laughs> Everybody keeps saying that. No, it's not Truck. It's not Adam, Media. It's uh, it's Tony Ronzoni is here today. At the wrong time, people start texting me. Tony Ronzoni's in the house now. He took over the show for Adam, uh, Media. Adam couldn't pay the rent. All right, I got just enough to make this last one. I'm gonna make this last one. And we made 11 cigarettes just like that. And it didn't even take any work. And I just saved myself $9. Because cigarettes are about a freaking $12 a pack. Now. I'm getting the dog nervous over here. He's looking for, uh, he's looking for Adam. And Cricket saying hello to media. Well, vice versa, I don't know which one that was. <laughs> Media saying hello to a few people. I'm glad you stopped by. And we got well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 12 cigarettes. Just while I'm talking to you guys. And I throw them, what I like to do also, I like to throw them in here because this, it's, this is a sealed pack. I got this from the Dollar Tree store. You throw them in here to keep them fresh. If you make any more than, uh, 
Tony Ronzoni's telling you, if you make any more than three packs at a time, you're going to get them still. They're going to dry up on you too quick. Unless you got something real nice to keep them in, to keep them fresh. You know, maybe put a piece of bread in there with it. If you put it in a bag, the bread, you'd be surprised how it keeps things nice and moist. A little piece of bread in there, and uh, it will keep your cigarettes from getting stale. I know that sounds crazy. But I put them in here first. They seal up, and they last a little longer. Any more than three packs you make, like I said, they're going to start falling out the tip because there's nothing to keep them fresh, unlike those seals, those sealed packs. That's the only uh, downfall. I can make them disappear. Actually, I can make... I can make these disappear. Let me see if I can see this right. I got no light over here. I shut the back light off behind me. You know, I'm, I'm going to blow it over here trying to do a silly magic trick live that I've done on the tape a few times. I always screw this up. I'm doing this for years. I can't get this one down. I can't get this one down pat. I don't know why. I go like this. I try and get rid of it, and it's still there. Where is it? It's over here. Oh, I bet Adam couldn't do that one. Oh, oh. <laughs> you make any... Oh, I missed that whole thing. I got to reach over to turn the chat back on. You make me more thin, thin. Oh, media, you, that means truck will be knocking on my door if I make any more than three packs at a time. But like I said, any more than three packs at a time, they start getting dry, they start getting stale. Cedo Evil came to the house. I like the new look. Whoa, Cedo Evil. Whoa. Yeah, the new look. Just, I threw uh, Adam out. He wasn't doing his job. He couldn't pay the rent, you know, so... Uh, I'm Tony Ronzoni. Let me introduce myself for the third time. I'm taking over the show now for Adam. You know, he's going to hide in the corner from now on and, and uh, shaking his shoes. Maybe whatever he does. He didn't ever told a good joke anyways. Chris Truck, I said at the beginning about the poodle. The poodle goes out and buys a clock. He bought a clock. You know why this poodle bought a clock? Because he wanted to be a watchdog. Whoa. That's better than Adam's. Come on. Talking about why the skeleton crossed the road, Adam saying. But uh, I did my thing here. I don't want to cut out so early. I wish I want to have something else to say. What's, what's anybody got to say? What did everybody do tonight? You know, I mean, uh, let me catch up with everybody. You know, I'm new to the, I'm new to the chat. You know, I haven't been around. You know, Tony Manzoni has not been around, so he doesn't know everybody too well. You know, I try to get Adam to tell me what's going on. He's shitting himself. And I'm missing the chat again, because it goes away so fast. Third time, Tony, can't count. It's been about 10, 10 times. Great job, Tony. Whoa! Tony can't count. He, uh, Tony can't see red either. You know, Tony can't see certain colors. He can't count. Tony don't know. Tony Ronzoni don't know the days of the month. But Tony Ronzoni, he's cooler than you. <laughs> you know, Tony Ronzoni's got to be completely different than Adam, you know. Adam loves everybody. Tony Ronzoni. Yeah, I tried quitting today, but I'm smoking a, cig a cigarette right now. Well, you know, funny, when I, when I finish making these, I always get in the mood to smoke one. And I don't smoke one that I found on the side. I got to smoke one I just made. I'm babysitting. Uh, media is babysitting pugs and loading up stuff for the range later this week. Whoa! And Mike F said, Tony Roll, that's for sure. Tony Roll, Tony Roll, Tony, Tony Ronzoni Roll. You know, maybe I got another person. Gina, how are you? Thank you for coming in. I don't know how much of you saw of this. I just made a whole bunch of cigarettes with, with, uh, with this Tops machine. It's a Topps machine. You can go buy it online or any way you want. It's got everything that I'm showing you in here. See this right here? It's got a tamper. Uh, oh, that's it. The rest of the stuff I added to it. I had a little pusher at the beginning because I didn't know what I was doing. And every once in a while, I did this little buy a nicotine stick to put in the, in the lip. No, 
You know what you do? You get up. It's amazing. It helps with the cigarettes too. You get a uh, you get a coffee bean in the morning. I take about five of them with me out. You put a coffee bean in your mouth. It helps you with cigarettes somehow. I don't know what that is all about, but uh, a co- sucking on a coffee bean, you don't want a cigarette as much. Just popped in, so I missed the demo. Oh, so what happened is that the deal was I came, I wanted to make cigarettes, but uh, but the deal was I'm Tony, Ma- I'm Tony Ranzoni, and I kicked out him out. He couldn't pay the rent, so... Uh, I slapped the guy so hard he got arrested for speeding, so he's away right now. You know, maybe we get him out later on after the weekend. But right now it's all me. Tony Ranzoni. I don't know you people too well, but uh, I'm looking forward to getting to know all of you, you know. I got a little ticks and tacks over there. Tony Ranzoni will always refer to himself as the third person. I got to take these off to see the chat. Hey, Tony. What did you do with Adam? Well, Adam, like I said, you know, he couldn't tell a good joke to save his life. He was shitting his drawers over there every time he, before he was coming on camera. He didn't know how to talk right. Those teeth were all over the place. So I smacked him. I smacked him really, really hard. And when I smacked him, he got arrested for speeding because his head spun around. Drop the link, Tony. You know what, Chris, drop. I am, I am getting, uh, I am getting StreamYard at the end of this month. I don't have a stream yard, so I can't drop a link. Whoa, what a show that would be. Chris Strzok, I'm doing it before the end of the month if you promise that you'll, that you'll take a rain check and come up here with me, dude. I'm going to get this this week. I'll get the, uh, the stream yard. I'll get the cheapest one to start off. They want $20 a month, $20, $30 a month. I'm going to do that. And please, give me a rain check, Chris Strzok. It's free. I don't know how you got, you gotta you gotta tell me that one. Well, you know what? Maybe uh, maybe I hit Tommy's show uh, tomorrow morning. I don't I, I don't know if it's a good time to go on his show in the morning. He's got his stuff to do. How could he explain that to me? I need someone. How can I get that for free? I thought it was twenty dollars a month. When I get off this, I'm gonna look it up on you Google because I'd love to have that tomorrow, Chris. I'll come. On. Good for, good, I gotta hit the chat. Good smacking at him. What about the nephew? The nephew ain't around either. Nobody's here. The nephew, that was Adam's nephew. I tossed that nephew out too. Nobody's around now. Brian's gone. Adam's nephew's gone. Adam's gone. I smack him all like that. And they all got arrested for speed, and I smack them all. That's what Tony Ranzoni does. He smacks over here, he smacks over there. He smacks himself sometimes. He don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm having a ball with you guys. Thank you for being who you are and letting, uh, and letting Tony Ranzoni come and talk with you guys. I appreciate it. Maybe, uh, maybe if everybody behaves themselves, I let Adam come back. But... When you got me, why you want Adam? You know, why you want that guy? You know, he tells these silly little jokes. You know, the magic tricks, he's always messing them up. He can never get one right. He messes up his work, you know. Now you got me. Now we got a show, you know. I'm the hog man. Mm, and I know it. Adam didn't know it. But uh, but that's really like I said. I wanted to be a fast one. I said fifteen minutes when I first come on. I'm already at twenty four minutes because I uh, I just love doing this shit. I don't want to be a hog about it and come on every night. But uh, I'm really feeling like I'm finding a home over here. You know, I, I, like uh, I'm really loving everybody. And for Tony Ranzoni to love anybody, if you know his history, he never loved anybody in his whole life. He used to kick the people when nobody was around. But, uh, like I said, he's gone? Or is he? To be determined next time, if Adam could fight his way back and take it back from Tony Ranzoni to be continued. But, uh, I hope everybody saw the way these cigarettes were made. 
I hope that it works out for you. Like I said, I'll go over it one last time before cutting out. Exactly what is here is brand new in this box. I bought two of them the day I bought these because I thought this would break. Looks like such a cheap thing. Five years later, this thing is still working beautiful for me. And it's got a little thing on the bottom of it so it don't slide that much. And it's still like uh, hanging in there. And I got the whole other one right in here. $12.95, still only $12.95 because they just checked. Go over this one more time. You got 250 empty sleeves in here. These are empty cartridges. 250 of these for uh, $4. And I get one pound of tobacco, which is uh, pipe tobacco, which I'm explaining is the same thing as uh, cigarette tobacco. They just cut differently. And it's called, believe it or not, the good stuff. The good stuff. Can you get over that? And this tobacco lasts me about two months, which is about eight cartons of cigarettes. Which, when you figure what today's price is, is about... It's about $100 a carton now, if I'm not mistaken. So that's $800 that I'm not spending. And I'm spending... I just went through this. $20. $4 times... Times... Uh, Times eight would be uh, 16, 32, 64. Do I got that number right? $64 for this, $20 for this, which brings us to, to, uh, to uh, $82. And this you buy one time for 20 bucks, so we won't count it for 12 bucks. So we won't count this. So we got for $62, I said 50. So now that I add up, for 62, $63 every two months, I'm smoking instead of spending $800 every two months. And I'm no genius. You just could all do this. I'd rather everybody just quit smoking. You know, I wish I could quit smoking. But God forbid, I take care of myself like that. You know, uh, that freaking guy Adam made me give gave me the habit of smoking. I didn't smoke before I met that guy. He gets me he gets on my nerves. You know, he got me uh, all chittering and chattering over there. So I gotta smoke a cigarette every once in a while. You want to come outside with me, smoke a cigarette, and then we call it a night, or no? Let's see. Let me unplug myself. I'm nice and charged here. We still got a few in the house. Let me bring my pack out with me. And you can't smoke a cigarette without the Zippo. You need the Zippo, ladies and gentlemen. One for my right hand and one for my left hand. That's what freaking crazy purple lady is saying. Cold turkey, who quit cold turkey? No, I ain't doing no cold turkey. I still love my, oh, you still love Adam with I, I, Adam's gone for now, man. I don't know what's gonna happen with Adam. Cause Tony Manzoni, I got the motorcycle in the backyard. Tony Manzoni's the hog man. I have a purple fancy, Touch to light my torch to light my my uh, my cigarettes. Purple lady has. Come on, who wants to come out, guys? Anybody want to come out? Oh, I gotta put that other light on on the other side before I get out there. It's too dark. What do we got here? Rolling your own crazy. Uh, see no evil. Rolling your own is better than using the store bought. That's. That's braid with so many, yeah, so many, oh, that's another thing I didn't mention. so many chemicals, plus they do have the bag of the good stuff with the chemicals. I happen to buy the one without the chemicals, see no evil, and it tastes exactly the same. Me too. Gina's saying, me too, turkey is the only way I could do it. Well, I stopped one time for a little while, but I, I couldn't do it, I couldn't, I couldn't stay off of it. Oh, a little chilly out here with no sleeves. It's a little bit chilly out here with the no sleeves, but uh, like I said, I hope you're going to hang out, have a cigarette with me, uh, and then we'll go back inside and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll close the show down. Now, this is made 10 minutes ago. I just made this cigarette, and I'm going to light it up. Adam! Cinnamon girl, Adam, peace out. Tony Wanzoni's here. Instead, Tony Wanzoni kicked out of Marty's piece. I was a uh, crazy purple lady. I was going to cut out on 
on the heat, but I'm just gonna cook instead. Hello, <laughs> cinnamon. We got, we got we got some good humor in the house. It's misty out here. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a mist hitting me right now of 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 water. And I should have put a hoodie on probably before I did this, but uh, but Tony wants only don't put hoodies on. <sighs> <laughs> I appreciate you guys going along with this. Because Tony, Tony Wanzoni's the hog man. He rides his bike. Adam rides his van. And delivers cupcakes for a living. I break thumbs for a living. You know why I break thumbs for a living? Because I'm cooler than you. And the great thing about here, I got no neighbors over here. I could, I could yell to, I could be screaming for help. Nobody would ever hear me. Maybe a family of foxes may get scared away or something. I don't know. But, uh, but I talked to Adam. Maybe he'll come, he'll come back. He'll be a lot more calmer, you know. But, you know, he's also going to trip over his words also, you know. He's, he's not going to know the next thing to say. Come on, I have one with you, Dindu was saying. A cigarette? Who are you talking to? It's, oh, I don't want to get anybody starting to smoke or anything or like that, but if you do smoke, there's a hell of a way to put extra money in your pocket. I mean, I just gave myself a four, I gave myself a $400 raise a, a month by doing this. Would it have been better to quit? Of course it would have been better to quit. But Tony runs all don't roll that way. Tony runs only told you to show you how to make the, the pasta. Also, I show you a couple of things now that I took over the show. I show you how the sh how a show is supposed to be ran. Adam didn't know how to do that shit. I sent him where he belongs to his room. He's probably pouting away, you know, pouting away. Maybe he's watching. Who knows? Maybe if they let him watch over there. But he was all over the place. It's freezing out here. Whoa. Whoa. Somebody's paging me now. I don't even have my phone with me. The other phone. Let's Oh, that's an old one. I'm looking at old stuff over here. Somebody just paged me. I don't know what they said. But uh, Tony Wanzoni's going to cut out because he's got better things to do. You know this is all just plain. I love you all, really. But uh, I'm just trying to Masana out this new uh, this new fellow out. Got to let the dogs in. The dogs are coming in. Come on. You got to give them a special invitation over here to come in. Come on, you can come in. You're not ready? Look at this dog. He looks like he owes somebody money. What, what's, he so, what's he so nervous about? The dog looks like he owes somebody money. What the hell is that all about? He's looking nervous on us. Yeah, I got everybody outside now. They stayed out there. I guess they ain't wet enough. But we got 70, seven people in the house. I feel bad to leave, you know, if you're... If you want to talk about something, hit me up. <laughs> Only on YouTube, eh? Only on YouTube. <laughs> What's the last chat I got there? Chilling out. Just chilling. Arms. Just chilling and saying to arms. Oh, I lost my chat there for a minute. That's all it is. People are talking to me. I didn't see any of that. Oh, the Wise Up show is in there. Said hello to Cinnamon Girl. I missed a few. I missed a few because I fucking shut off my, my thing. I still don't know what I'm doing over here. I'm just trying to make believe I do. Crazy Purple Lady said to just chill and check out the outfit. It's my friend's shop. He makes everything. And I, I know I'm just said hello to just chilling. Brian said hello to see, see no evil. 
And everybody just saying hello to everybody. What's up to Cinnamon Girl from uh, Just Chilling? Now, like I said, I'm going to shut the tube off over here, and uh, I'm probably going to watch a movie or something. I got nothing else to do, man, by myself, unless I want to vacuum at this time. Uh, maybe i wait till tomorrow morning to vacuum. That's all I got left to do over here. Everything else is nice and clean. Time for beer. Everyone have a good one. All right, media. Maybe I have a beer tonight, too. Who knows? I'm sipping on a little coffee over here. Let me go. How are you? Chris Trock is laughing. <laughs> Chris Trock, I got to find out how to way to do that. Uh, get somebody up here. Get you up here. I, I don't know if I should play with this stuff now. You have any suggestions that I can do that right now? All right, media. Let me let you go. And... Uh, I'm going to find out how to get a guest on here before I come up here again, because I definitely like the idea of that. Me and uh, Chris Truck side by side, we'll bring the house down. Tony needs a haircut. Tony needs a haircut. I asked for a haircut. They cut them all. Larry from Avenue Ed is in the house. Did I miss Larry? Larry Dunn. Tony needs a haircut. That's Larry Dunn said that. Yeah, Tony Ronzoni's here, Larry. He, 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 kicked, uh, he kicked Adam out. He didn't know how to do the show right. He was always he was always tripping over his words. I gave him. A, I sent him to his room. He's probably freaking crying. Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck cares? There's a new sheriff in the house, and his name is Tony Ranzoni. Yeah, I t uh, Chris Truck. Yeah, I taped it in chat already. Larry from Brooklyn. Oh, I'm glad Arms told me that. I didn't even see Larry. He passes right by me over there. He's always passing by doing his uh, break dancing over there. Larry Dunn was a hell of a break dancer back in the day, man. You break out that cardboard, and he put what a show on for you, like nobody else's business. And I could stand there for hours and watch that man. People would stop as they're walking down the block and just stop. A whole family would stop and watch this man do his, uh, was it break? It was break dancing, moon, it was a little bit of everything, man. It was amazing. I'd like to, for maybe maybe me, you, and Robbie do a three-way. We do a three-way phone conversation. I find out how you finally find out how you learned that so well. Tony Ronzoni, greetings from Cinnamon Girl. I tell Adam he's all set hello, okay? Maybe I tell him. Uh, I didn't even send him his dinner yet. He's still waiting for dinner. Poor guy must be thirsty. I haven't fed him. I haven't given him a glass of water since, uh, what? Seven o'clock this morning, I gave him a glass of water and I gave him two, gave him his pills. You know, he needs some pills, that poor guy. He gets frantic. He gets a little nervous there about YouTube. He gets a little uh, anxious. Me? It's YouTube. Funhouse kick dancing. Larry Dunn, Funhouse kick dancing. Yeah, Larry, one day me, you, and Robbie, it's it's long overdue. We're gonna, the three of us, we got to get on the phone. And we got to talk to three of us. It, it, I mean, it, it, life goes by in a blink. We got we to gotta do this. I'm going to get a hold of Robbie this week. Expect a phone call from him. And you're going to go three-way with us. Okay, Larry? We're going to do this and catch up. Uh, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get Adam. I'll make him call you. <laughs> Be cool, Eddie. Uh, I'm just saying, Eddie, I think uh, I'm back, baby. Arms. Keep it, keep it calm. <laughs> but like I said, I lost my cousin Brian. He was here till Monday, man. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm lonely without him, man. You got it, Larry Dunn. Okay, man. I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be cool. And if we do real good, maybe we go on YouTube. The three of us. Robbie's so not into that. He did that just for me, Robbie. He came on YouTube for me when I was just starting out. A very good friend of mine. He came on. Uh, I'm screwing up. I'm talking about stuff that Adam would be talking about. Oh, I got to keep my role. Well, Tony Mills is only going to stay in his lane anyways. He's in everybody's lane. He's all over the road. He's singing that song, Life could be beautiful. Do -do 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 -do. Life can be beautiful. Do -do. And he's swinging all over the road. I'm swinging all over the road while I'm playing my music. I don't care who I hit. Brian went to the strip joint. With media. Oh, Chris Rock said that. Brian, peace out. I will come on live. 
Brian, you too. I'm going to get this stream yard going or whatever it is to get somebody up here. I'd love to have you by my side every night, Brian. It's a, it's a recipe for, uh, you know, Adam seems to love it. So uh, I'll let him come down from his room every once in a while and go on with you, Brian. All right? I keep forgetting that Tony Machete, Tony Ronzoni is a... Uh, is on the phone instead of Adam. You know, I got to remember that. <laughs> Tony Ronzoni, blow fire out of your out of your mouth or something. You know what? Can I be that crazy? There is a way to do it too. There is a way to do it too. I got to get something to hold up this thing with a stand, so I don't have to hold it with my hand. There is a way to do it, but uh. You know, I don't want to cause a fire in the house here. Yeah. Well, if you don't have Bacardi, then there is a way to do this. I will smack Tony straight. Tony is straight, bro. And Tony's got big hands, man, Brian. You sure about that? Tony give you a smack, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, he, 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 hit, he hit Adam. Don't listen to this guy. <laughs> he hit Adam so hard, the poor guy got arrested for speeding because his head kept on spinning around. <laughs> The guy was in neutral. Come on. He was in neutral all day long. See, Adam has a stand. I do have a stand, but uh, let me try this out. It's probably going to not work. Adam Goomba, please don't blow yourself up. Please. I'm going to try it for a second, see if it works. I haven't done this since I'm uh, maybe in my wise up. Wise up. You tell me to wise up or is the wise up show here? Maddie Machete. All right, I'm going for it. It's probably not going to work anyways. I forgot how to do this. Ah, didn't work. I was halfway there. It used to come out much better. Get some hairspray. Get some hair. I got some hairspray over here. Don't let me do this. Oh, my God. Why am I in this kind of mood tonight? My God. I'm, I, I, I want to... Uh, I'm going to break something tonight. Hope it's not on me. Maybe I get on my... Uh, maybe I get on my motorcycle. I'll be the hog man. I got the motorcycle. You know the arms? They're really up here? On the... On, I'm going to ride it like that. And you notice that the, the, the motorcycles, they sound with their name like the hummies? They're hum, 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 hum. Mishabishis, me, Mishabishi. That's what the motorcycle sounds like, their names. What the hell is that all about? Oh, I missed another text. Ah, can't be that important. The Yamaha, Yamaha, the muffler, the one they, when you turn it on, Yamaha, Yamaha, the motorcycle sounds like their names. How do I do that? Get some hairspray. I'm still on that one. Slow down, hot rod. See no evil. I'm going to put this guy on speakerphone. See no evil, you are on speakerphone. If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I got to see no evil in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you're a little on the low side. You don't want to be on? No, I'm okay. I don't want to get hurt, but... Oh, you don't want me to get... You, you don't want me to get butt hurt? I don't want you to get hurt with the fire stuff. Oh, man. Before you try something like that, please. Yo, man. When you didn't do it yet. We can't hear him. Oh, they can't hear you. Nah, I'm sorry about that. I don't know where to put sorry, the... I'm sorry, guys. I just don't want Adam getting hurt. Nah, nah you know, see, no evil, I got to tell you something. I had a little bit of an incident in my family, uh, a little concern, personal incident, and this man called me up every day to make sure everything was okay. 
Let me just shut something Yeah. Eddie Machete, Adam's a big boy. Yeah, Adam ain't big enough for Tony Michonne, Tony Ranzoni. There's stuff that he's not really looked into yet. Please just check into it first, but they have that, that gel for your lips, you won't get burned, dude. Oh, I've been doing that since I'm a kid. I used to do the, uh, you know, the Bacardi 151? That, yeah, I know. I used to blow that shit out of my mouth onto the tables, man, in the in the parks. But I was chasing people with that. That we done. Thanks. He's Gene Simmons. Please be, just be, be careful. Oh, man, thank you, bro. That's cool, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, see no evil. Take care. Have a good night. All right, you too, man. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, that was cool, wasn't it, man? I got people with the freaking love over here. Larry Dunn, you got to remember when I when I used to blow the freaking Bacardi 151 out of, the, out of my mouth onto the table the, into, on, at the park. And I swear to this day, one day I ran right through a fence, right into a basketball court. I can remember that. I, the fence was still there when I passed by it, but I ran right through a goddamn fence. Don't know how that happened. Didn't break it. Didn't do nothing to it. Uh, Tino, uh, what are you saying, Tindu? What is that? A fangu. A fangu. A fangu. <laughs> oh, yes. Larry Dunn remembers that. Yo, Larry Dunn, I really appreciate you coming up and not only not only joining, but but in, participating in uh, in this chat. It, uh, it means more than you could know. Very cool of him. Of, of, uh, of See No Evil, right? That's the kind of people you want to know on here, man. He's invited me to his house already. He's invited me to, you know, I don't want to tell his business, but he's invited me to his places of, of business and whatnot, you know, like as if I'm family. The man has even stepped out and offered me to, uh, not that I needed, he offered to give me stuff. You know, like I spoke about a car that was giving me trouble. He goes, you, you need a car? You need an engine for that? I got an engine for that. I'll hook you up. <laughs> Come on, guys. Who else has left us out there? Very cool of him, yeah. I tell you, if the man reaches out to you, take it. He's sincere. He means it. See no evil. And I'll uh, just want Adam to be safe. And I'm going to get off that because I don't want to embarrass the man. I don't want to keep on him, you know. Uh, but uh, good person to know uh, out of all the people that you can meet on Facebook. Oh, Eddie Machete wants me to come to his deli in Brooklyn. I'll take care of... Yeah, I'll change your double. I'll change your double. Ha ha. I'll change your double. That's Eddie Machete. Hey, I take what I can from Eddie Machete. You see Eddie Machete's sneakers? I saw his sneakers. They fuck. They got all cold cuts laying on them. You can't even tell they're sneakers. Matter of fact, I bought sneakers the other day off, the, off some guy in the street. Charge. I'll charge you double. Oh, I'll charge you double. I'm seeing change you double. Charge you double. <laughs> okay, gee, thanks. I bought a pair of shoelaces out in the street the other day. I don't know what this guy laced these sneakers with, but I was tripping all day. Oh, let Adam tell you one like that. He can't. Yes, Mike. The new character is tremendous. <laughs> well, let's see. He's, you know, I don't know how long Adam's going to sit back and let me do this. You know, I mean, uh, you know, I may have to break his thumbs. I don't know. Eddie, give him extra privilege. Chris Truck wants you to give me extra privilege. Ooh, I'll take the imported Swiss. Thank you very much. What's going on here? Here, at, Oh, Deborah just came in. Deborah Roberts. Thank you for coming in. Actually, Deborah Roberts, we got a little skit over here. Uh, I just showed everybody how to make cigarettes. I'm not going to take my whole machine out and everything. Very, very cheap. For about $60 every two months, you get uh, eight cartons. Deborah, not Adam. This is Tony. So, uh, uh, Deborah, for... Uh, for entertainment purposes, uh, Tony Majon Tony Tony Ranzoni took over Adam's show. I gave him a slap and sent him to his room. You know he's probably up there pouting away. So uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Tony Ranzoni, and I'm better than you. <laughs> I 
Who's got two thumbs and cool as hell? This guy. So that's who I am tonight, Deborah. I am Tony Ronzoni, and I got the plan for this show. I'm gonna blow it up over here because Adam was sleeping on it. And I, <laughs> Adam was sleeping on the show here. He was tripping over his over his words. He couldn't tell a good joke. You know, he didn't know how to feed the birds. So uh, I'm gonna feed the birds instead from now on. I'm gonna take care of the dogs. I'm gonna take care of everything from now on. Like I said, there's a new sheriff in the house. Adam comes down, I'm gonna have to give him a couple of slaps and put him back in his room. I get it. It's crazy life. Only on YouTube it's a crazy life, Deborah. Only on YouTube. I'm, uh, I'm too normal in real life. So this is my vent. I vent here. You know, I can be a maniac here. I can be who anything. You know, who knows? Maybe tomorrow, uh, maybe Silly Harry will show up. You know, uh, Adam's long lost son or something. You know, uh, who the hell knows who may show up next? We got a few guests coming. Sal Emmy. I said a load of cricket already. Later, Slim. Oh, Slim's leaving. Okay, cricket's leaving. Thanks for thanks for coming in, Cricket. Thank you. I appreciate that. It means everything. And and Deborah saying hello to Cinema Girl. And like I said, you know, uh, Tony Wanzoni, he's gonna have a couple of nice new jokes for you. You know, I got uh, I got everything going on for you guys. I got the jokes going on, and that's the way it's gonna be from now on. Let me see. If I could pull up some old pictures of Adam because we just miss him so much over there, huh? <laughs> well, I'm trying to look at the chat on the other phone. <laughs> but like I said, Adam couldn't tell his jokes. I tell the jokes instead of him. I tell them much better, you know. Like, uh, you know, when, is, when does a joke become a parent joke? When does a joke become a dad joke? When it's a parent. You all better laugh at that one because, you know, this guy over here, Tony Renzoni, he breaks thumbs if you don't give a good laugh at his shit. Laugh at his shit! Laugh! <laughs> Mike Epperson, a little Deborah. And Deborah's laughing out loud. And frogs are always so happy because they eat whatever bugs them. Oh, I don't know. That sounds like an Adam joke to me. That one was an Adam joke. Chris Trock is laughing. I'm just taking a look at the chat over here, seeing what anybody's saying. You did a great job keeping Tindu awake. Oh, poor Tindu, does he have to go into work tomorrow? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, what's this? Knock, knock, who's there? Ice cream. Ice cream who? Ice cream... Ice cream so you can hear me? That was a stupid one. That was another Adam one. What do you call a sleeping bull? A bulldozer. <laughs> and that's it for me. I joked you guys. I got 11 people here, but, uh, you know, unless anybody wants to chat, uh... I guess we're going to cut out. I was doing, I actually said at the beginning, I said this is going to be a 15 minute chat real quick. You know, because I'm just going to show out, I'm going to show how to make the cigarettes and I'm going to introduce myself. You know, I'm going to introduce Tony Ronzoni to the show. And, uh, you know, I'll be here tomorrow. Maybe we let Adam come out of his room and say hello real quick. But, you know, 
I can't have him messing up things. You know, he's gonna he's gonna trip over his words. We're gonna have to put him back in his room. You know, so we see how he does. You know, maybe we have him help me feed the birds tomorrow. See how he does. You know, he's got. You know, we have to set him back for a bit. You know, if he does good, we let him come back a little bit. You know. I tried to plant uh, some beans in my yard. Uh, the summer just on. I tried to plant some beans in my yard, but I found that you cannot plant jelly beans. What do you? Oh, Brian's got one for us. I'm gonna read it out loud without without reading it first. Hopefully, it's not that bad. Brian over here is saying, "What do you get when you cross a brown chicken and a brown cow? I don't know chocolate milk." Brown chicken, brown cow, cow. They're gonna shut us. They're gonna shut us down after that one. That was that was bad. Maybe Adam would like that one. You feeling birds now? You, you feeding birds now? Yeah, I've been feeding them every other day. I uh, I got a full of food. Got full of water. Uh, they give me about eight eggs every every roughly eight to ten eggs every two days. Uh, there's a total of ten of them. Deborah. <laughs> Deborah's such a nice person. She's always leaving me such nice comments. It makes you know what I like when I see a comment from Deborah early in the morning to wake up to such a nice comment. If you have a bad day after that, it's your fault. <laughs> Thank you, Deborah Roberts and Eddie Machete. Wow, I didn't think it could get worse. For God's sakes, I think Eddie Machete is talking about Brian's joke that he just told. Yeah, I'm lucky they didn't uh, strike us for that one. Brian, what the? I think you've been around Adam too long, friggin'. Oh, look who's, I got Brian on the phone now. He can't keep himself quiet. Brian, you are on speaker. I got Brian on the phone now. He can't keep himself quiet. Brian, you are on speaker. Oh, I got to lower you. Yeah, that ain't going to work out. We're getting feedback terribly. You didn't say the joke right. What'd I say? What, what, what? Deborah said, oh, you're welcome, Deborah. Deborah, I'm the type that I would not say it if it's so. If it wasn't so, I'd just keep quiet, and I wouldn't say anything. But, uh, Deborah, you're wonderful. You really are with all your great comments. It makes me feel like, uh, feel like I'm happier than I should be sometimes. But, Brian, what's up? You didn't say the joke right. Can you hear Brian? It's Oh, Brian, look at I'm looking at my, my my eyebrows go over these glasses. What the heck is that all about? No. Whoa, I'm a, a freaking Tony Mazzoni, Tony Ranzoni's a hog man. What the hell? Yeah, he's gotta take over his show for Adam. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're freaking killing this show over here. Yes, have him say the joke. Yeah, say it, say it the right way. Say it. I got you by the phone. Let's see if this works out. Say it the right way. Go ahead. Say the whole joke right now. Yeah, when you cross a brown chicken with a brown cow. Brown chicken cow cow. Yo, how, yo, how many of you people want me to hang up on Cousin Brian? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Eddie's saying. Look at that dropping off. I, there was twelve. There, there was twelve people up here before you came on the phone. Now there's only nine. You're scamming them away. <laughs> yeah, you're scaring my freaking people away over here. So what do you think of Tony Ranzoni, huh? You think it was a good idea or what, Brian? Yes, yeah, I know. I had to wait till you left because you wouldn't have been able to handle. Uh, you wouldn't have been able to handle Tony Ranzoni, yeah, Brian. You know, you would have had to. You would have. You would have run out of the house. Uh, no, I could, I could, I could, uh, get rid of Listen, you son of a bitch! I would have sent you up in a room with with Adam. All right. You you would have been chasing a chicken around the room until you caught it. Uh, Never hang up on cousin Brian. Oh, Chris Truck says don't hang up on you. <laughs> That sucked. Yo, they're saying that joke sucked, Brian. It sucked. Oh, and they're saying so do you. Ooh. They're saying Brian sucks. Cousin Brian sucks. Brian, maybe you do. You know, these people know what they're talking about. Maybe they maybe they got something over here. I need to catch 
the beginning, Tony said. Oh, Deborah needs to catch the beginning. Well, the beginning was just making cigarettes, uh, Deborah. So if you're not a smoker, you know, you didn't miss nothing. But it's amazing how everyone in the world don't don't make cigarettes. I mean, it's a fraction of the price. When I'm talking 50 cents a pack, roughly, I'm not joking. I mean, I just put $400 in my pocket a month by, by making cigarettes. I'm doing them about five years now. I got a, I got a $400 raise a month. And Deborah, Deborah saying hello to you, Cousin Brian, not that you deserve it. You don't deserve no hellos after a joke like that. <laughs> Get in the room, Brian. Brian is about two and a half hours away from me right now. If he was, if he could be, he would be in this room right now. I mean, I don't know if Tony would let you be in this room right now. I'm Chris Jack. I'm in Long Island right now. Yeah, he's in Long Island right now. He's all the way in Long Island. I think they could hear you. I quit 10 years ago. Deborah quit 10 years. Good. Then don't rewatch the beginning of this, Deborah, because then you don't need to know how to make these cigarettes for uh, for real cheap because you're saving. I'm putting the time out again, my arm. They, Deborah, Deborah, Deborah will save more money than all of us by not smoking at all. But it cost me about $63 every two months. You're talking eight cartons of cigarettes. That's 1,600 cigarettes. If I did my math right, sixteen hundred cigarettes. Where in where in Rhode Island? Uh, Chris wants it. Chris Trox says, "Where in Rhode Island are you?" I'm in Long Island, not Rhode Island. Oh, where in Long Island? Long Island. He's in Chris. I'm, I'm in Suffolk County. So, so, all right, if they heard that, Suffolk County. Rhode Island. He's, wow, Deborah quit ten years ago. I quit. Because I had an incident, a health incident, and I got scared, so I quit for about a year. Driving car service, I see this pack of Ken 3. I don't smoke Ken 3, but I see it in the door well. That's a lot of smoke. That's a lot of smoke for $63, Paul. Yeah. yeah Tony, Tony blows a lot of shit. Tony blows a lot of smoke, uh, Brian's saying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got to see you in person, pal. We're going to pick a YouTube fight here. I'm going to meet you at your house. We're on YouTube. And come down there and kick your ass. And and, and your cousin Adam's going to watch from the window. All right? Yeah. What do you think about that, cousin Brian? Hey, Tony, we met there before. You didn't, you didn't wow. So Deborah's amazed how much you save. On cigarettes. Back to the cigarettes. It's, it's just amazing to me that I wait online in the morning and buy my coffee and I see people spending $12 for a pack of Marlboro in the morning. Oh, my God. How do you know that what is the difference between a wannabe and a name-dropping guy? See No Evil says. How do, how do you know what is the difference between a wannabe and a name-dropping guy. They're both the same guys, pretty much. That was Sino Evil, asked that. He obviously knew the answer. He was just asking if we knew the rest. Paul saying a load of arms. Good to see you as well, arms. But uh, yeah, Cousin Brian, you keep on talking like that. I got to take a ride to Long Island. If I got a ride to Long Island, you know I'm going to have to kick your ass there. And, and, you, and your cousin Adam's going to watch from the goddamn window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to break some thumbs over here. Let me see you drive with no thumbs. See no evil, exactly. Yeah, same guy. And he's saying exactly. Yeah, Brian, I don't know if I don't know if I like you as much as Adam. You know, I don't know. I don't know if you're my cup of tea. You know? I don't know. I hear you a little rough around the edges there, you know. You know who I am? I don't know if Sino Evil will say that to me or not, because I certainly know who you are. But uh I would not reveal that on on, on YouTube, you know. Sino Evil gave me the honor of letting me in his circle. I will respect that to the end. Yeah, never got to worry about that shit. See no evil. I don't talk out of school. Y'all need to quit. 
Paul said. Well, I'm the only one that admitted to smoke. Nobody else admitted to smoking yet. So you know what? Uh, better than the brown cow and chicken. Damn, damn, damn. See, you know, Evo said we're telling bad jokes tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to go back to the drawing board. Brian, don't tell another joke until you know what you're doing. Well, you got to live up out of his reputation there. So why not tell about what bad jokes? Uh, I, Adam has no reputation. I'm no one. That's the best thing to say. You ever drive up to the side of somebody and they say, who are you? And you say, I'm no one. I'm nobody. I'm nobody. No. I'm no one. That's the best in this. When am I coming to Long Island? Look at what I, I got to leave here. I'm going to live. I got all the, I got everything over here. I got to leave here. <laughs> I'm liking life right now. I tell you, it'd be nice to, you know what I say, it'd be nice to watch a movie with somebody, but if you watch the movie with me, you don't know. I got to pause it, I got to rewind it, I got to hear that part again. I'm dreadful to watch a movie with. I got, oh, what, what, what did you say? I got to watch that part again. Oh, pause it. I got to go uh, outside for a cigarette. Yeah, you never want to watch a movie with, 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 uh, with Adam. He's always freaking pausing that shit. I tried once. I put him in the bathroom. Are you going to build a fire tonight? That's not a joke. Deborah, you know something? I didn't build that fire. I got the fire pit outside that all I got to do is light a friggin' the gas, but I actually have a real fire pit outside. It's a little bit away from the house, and the last two days it's been raining. I was just outside, and it is, uh, it's a bad mist out there. Do I got all my dogs in the house? You saying goodnight to everybody, Brian? Brian saying goodnight to everybody. He's got to go to bed and suck his thumb. Yeah, maybe I'll let out. You know, you know what, Brian? Go, give, go call Adam. Maybe he cares, you know? Go call Adam and tell him you got work tomorrow and you're going someplace because uh, I don't really care. You know? So be on your way. So... Yo, see, no evil's got a few things to say over here. As Uncle Joey Coco Day says, you are going deep, 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 deep undercover. Put the, nar put the narrator on the movie so it explains. Oh, I did that. Oh, man, I did that with a girl once, and she just didn't like it, man. I don't even know why I had that girl over. That's... Uh, Brian, good night. Uh, Deborah saying good night to you. She's uh, Deborah reaches out to everybody. Good night, Brian. Oh, I'm just saying, you out of here yet, Brian? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good night, man. Good. Night. You go, Brian. I wish I could. Uh, yeah, go tell Adam that. Yeah. Go spit. Night, bro. Yeah, kick rocks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's gone. Now we can talk about him. Brian, that mutt. He's a mutt, you know. But we made an hour and ten minutes, ladies and gentlemen. I think that is a... Uh, I think that's a nice show. Any more than an hour, you know, people don't tend to watch the repeat, you know. They're not going to watch it. They see an hour and ten minutes over here. Who's going to sit through that, you know? Although, uh, if we were talking about Deborah. Oh, you are so awesome. Sweet, Adam. Yeah, Adam may be sweet, but I'm a bastard, all right? I'm Tony Ronzoni. I break thumbs. You know why I break thumbs? <laughs> it's hard to be such a bastard. I'm, I, I like to be such a nice guy, but I'm going to say it anyways. You know why I break thumbs? Because I'm better than you. Deborah Robbins saying hello to the to, uh, to see no evil. I think we got everybody. 
yeah, these new glasses, I think I'm gonna keep these on. And I got a nice little cowboy hat I might start to wear too. Let me see. That might be for somebody else. But uh, Tony Ronzoni, he brought this, uh, this hat along. This is a special hat. We go, we go fishing with this hat on. Oh, ooh, oh. What, am I going fishing with this hat or what? What am I doing? I'm camping. Good night, Brian, Chat, and Tony. I need to go. That's Mike F. He's out of here. I put the hat on. He can't handle it. The hat's too much. Mike F's got to go. Looks good on you, Adam, Deborah says. Looks good on Tony. Tony Ronzoni. Adam may be back tomorrow. I might let him out of his room. But right now he's in his room. He's panting. I haven't given him a glass of water since 7 o'clock this morning. Poor guy's probably thirsty like hell up there. Riding the bull. Oh, riding the bull with this hat on. <laughs> and Cinnamon Girl saying goodnight to uh, Mike F. And this is actually a quite nice hat. I was supposed to take it with me to vacation. I forgot it home. <laughs> Somebody knows who that mean, what that means. Somebody knows what that means. You know what that means. Find him up on the hood. Chris Schrock. It's amazing that Brian said that to me. I, it was a real thing. I'm not even joking. Today, I wouldn't say that because I couldn't do that. But I used to tell my friends, you know, I'm going to tie you up on the ornament for the ride home. And you'll be the, you you'll be the ornament up on the front there. Mike, yeah, Tony, I saw a lot of those hats on on the bunch of Puerto Rico two weeks ago. Oh, I got a lot of good hats. There's a lot, and I can go through probably about a dozen of those kind of hats in the, in the uh, closet. I had two of them on yesterday, a black one and a brown one. Oh, the day before yesterday, the last night Brian was here. Mike F, CG2, be safe. Good night, good night. <laughs> but like I said, uh, I think we're going to say good night now. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm taking over, all right? There's a new sheriff in town. His name is Tony Ronzoni. And that's right. I can't get this thing to stay up. What a shame. And that's right. I'm Tony Ronzoni, and I'm better than you. Oh, good night now. Everybody be good to themselves, all right? Shake it to the left, shake it to the right. Oh, sorry, Mike. You're still awake. That's Deborah Roberts. Deborah Roberts, love you. I'm out of here. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Tony Ronzoni says good night to everyone. Shut up, Adam. Shut up. I'm bringing you water. I'll get you your water. Relax. This guy's crying up there. I am banging on the ceiling. All right, later, everybody. Be good. Love you all. Thanks for coming.